Hi everyone, I am back and today I want to tackle something really fun and dear to my heart, which is handmade books, but many handmade books. So many of the books that I'm going to share with you are going to be teeny tiny books or smaller books than usual or books with a theme. Um, but art journaling is very fun and exciting and very open ended, but so is making your own books and making tiny, tiny art journals or small art journals with themes and features. So I wanted to share some of those with you because I have a lot. In fact, I have so many that um, I will often sometimes sell them because <laughs> I just can't keep them all. Um, and once you make one, you usually want to make a whole bunch. So without further ado, I'm going to share a whole bunch of small handmade books with you today. So let's go check them out. All right. So for those of you who might have been following me for a while, you may have seen some of these journals here or there, um, but I thought it would be nice to kind of pop them all into one video um, because I've just made so many. I'm trying to look here and I think most of these I made this year, some of them maybe in the last two years, but um, I really do make a lot of journals and I tend to make books when I get stymied in my art journals and I really want to kind of be creative, I'll do a small little project. So it's really fun. Before we get too far into this, I will say I'm going to start with this journal, which I think if you scroll on my YouTube feed, you will see um, a little blurb about these. But I want to say I'm going to these journals are part of a little mini free class I gave away to my newsletter subscribers. And I'm noticing that there's a lot of new people here um, on this channel. And I just wanna put a little plug in for my newsletter because I do sales there for my Etsy shop that are exclusive for my newsletter subscribers. And every once in a while, I'll do a little free class. And I've had people ask about this one, so I'm thinking about just re-releasing it for my next newsletter. So if you think of it, go to the description for this video and there'll be a link there to get on my newsletter. Um, and then you'll get access to this free class. I'll try and do it soon after this video is released. So definitely sign up. So Journaling is something that I enjoy doing, um, but making books is something that I'm also passionate about. I don't have to think too much about what I'm going to put in them. I just pick a theme and I kind of go, and I have fun making the structure. So like I said, there's teeny little books on up to regular size, but they're all fun. They're all small and mini. There's not a lot of pages in them. Um, and that's why they can be a fun place to start. Um, it reduces the intimidation of trying to like fill a journal period. So um, I'll start with these little moon books. They're super fun. They have a really cute um, moon face on either side. So I actually came up with these as samples as many of my um, mini books end up being samples when I do a new stencil release. So this was for this moon face stencil and this little line here um, and it has all my new stencils for this release. So I just picked this moon theme and then I also happen to have some really great paper clips that went along with it. Um, but it is a book, but it doesn't have a lot of pages. It just has, you know, a cover and you open it up and then there's something inside. So a book could be a simple, just folded structure and you turn it into a bit of a story or something with meaning and you've got a book. So you could think as small as two pages or <laughs> opening something up, that could be a book. Um, and since I've been flashing this little mini one, I thought I would share this with you. This is actually another one of those little books that I purchased from an artist named Ricky Tiki Tavi. She does these every once in a while in her shop. Um, 
so I'll put a link to her Etsy. I don't know when she's going to do them again. Um, but anyway, she made these kind of plain little journals and then I doodled on the cover and I just started filling it up. She has like fun little tiny tags in there. She has some stitches, but then all the pages are blank. So I just started filling it up with just little bits and bobs. And it was fun to kind of look through my art supplies and see what I could find that could be tiny and kind of fit in the um, journal. So, and I feel like most of this, and I love that she puts like, she always has my favorite artists. From, this is Felicia Bond, um, if you give a mouse a cookie, that illustrator, and then sometimes she has Richard Scarry, who I love in these, which I think is so fun. But anyway, I was able to find like postage stamps or washi tape with images that fit. Um, so it was really fun to play with. And I think a lot of this, I ended up doing during a power outage. And so I just sat at my desk until the sunlight ran out and I just filled it up. But a little mini chunky book. I mean, what could be cuter? It fits in the palm of your hand. Love that. Um, I have another book over here that is a small book and this was inspired by uh, my friend Claire Stead. She's an artist. I'll try and remember to put her link in. <laughs> but she actually came up with this um, from one of my stencils. I had sent her my stencil. And um, I think it's called Hands, Birds, and Flowers. It's, uh, my stencils are all like three sets. But anyway, she took this and she made it into a book. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, well, I want to make one too. So um, I made one just like the one that she made. It, the shapes, I mean, the insides were very different. And I actually remember um, when I made this book, it was the beginning of the Ukraine war, I think. So a lot of the images and the writing are kind of about that. And um, so I mentioned this in a lot of my videos sometimes making a journal is a way of marking time for me you know like I remember whenever I see this what this this was about or um you know it is kind of a theme so anyway it's an interesting way to capture time as opposed to like a scrapbook you know um and then I wanted to share these guys so one of my favorite structures and one of the easiest structures out there is accordion folds. I mean, you just fold paper into an accordion and you slap on some covers. And this is um, kind of right when I came back to accordion journaling um, or art journaling even. I had taken a huge break in when I had my first two kids and I got caught up in sewing. So this was kind of my first foray into watercolor and doodling. Um, and I just had fun with this accordion structure. I made a whole bunch of these. I have another one that I wanted to share, but I didn't grab it, so anyway. But in this one, I just picked watercolors. You know, I had just gotten this beautiful set of watercolors from my boyfriend. And so I was really trying to get to play with those and just doodling. I actually don't think I finished this one because I can see some blank pages in the back. But anyway, it is a beautiful structure to use. Again, if you think of a theme, um, this is another one that I made in accordion journal. And... Um, this one was fun. This is where I discovered the die cutting machine, which my sister-in-law gave me. She was a teacher and she quit and started something else. And she had this die cutting machine that she won and she gave it to me. And she's like, I think you probably like this. But the, the die that she had was for mini envelopes. <laughs> so I was at her house the day she gave it to me. I must've made like 10 million little envelopes. So I started water coloring on these envelopes and then I was like well I need to do something with them I was like oh I'll put them in a book and so um I did watercolor on them and then I put like a little something inside with the tab because it's really hard to get out so I put a little washi tape tag on there and then I kind of built this book around that with old pictures and designs and doodles and um 
I just love how it came out. You will often, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see me usually share a lot of um, accordion journals. It's just, it's one of my favorite ways to work. So I do make quite a, quite a few of these. And then this accordion journal was, um, I'm involved in a program called Father School. I'm one of the teachers, but I always say one of the blessings is I also get to take classes from all the teachers. So it's a 12 month course, there's 12 teachers. And this month was Roxanne Paget's, um, her month. Again, I'll try to put links for everyone in my description. She's an incredible artist. I really admire her so much. And so this was an accordion book structure, but the premise was taking like a stenciled image and then doing all this beautiful um, kind of artwork and collage with it. And I gotta say, so one of the fun things about Roxanne is that her color palette is very different than mine. And she was using for her samples, these yellows and these blues, and they're not necessarily the blues or colors that I gravitate towards. And one of the funnest things about making this book was using her color palette and I fell in love. Um, and honestly, I think I say this every time I open this book, like, I got to make a book in these colors now. <laughs> just the blues and the yellows. And I had so much fun. I just took, for this stencil, I have stencils. So I just took one of my Paper Dolls stencils. I think it's from Paper Dolls set number two. And I just used the, the bodice for it as the stencil. But I love how it came out. And again, it's just another sample with accordion folds. We did stitching, or at least I did. I don't know if we had to, but everything looks better with stitching. I never do stitching because I'm too lazy to take out my sewing machine. I burnt myself out sewing for 10 years too, but I digress. Um, this is another fun one. I just made this recently. Um, I just used some really strong washi tape. People always ask, most of this spine tape is from Amal Studio. Um, it's really great fabric tape, so I like to put it on the spines of journals. But I made this journal for something that I didn't end up using it for, so this journal, I'm just going to share with you, is my five-year-old's art. He is the newest artist in the family. He only really started getting into drawing this year, and so whenever I see his drawings that I'm falling in love with, like, I'll sneak them and, um, put them in a journal. So, like, he just comes up with these little characters, you know, they crack me up. Or like, I came out with some stamps this year, he was coloring them in. So I just find his stuff and um, I just put it in a little journal. I have a Rolodex, sometimes I'll find that he's stolen a Rolodex cart, not stolen, I don't care. And he'll draw in there, he has some little crayon people. Anyway, I just thought I need to capture his beginnings with art and drawing so he could remember to have this fun little book of his art. I just love it so much. This is a Ghostbusters, <laughs> that's a ghost. I just think it's so fun. So it is yet to be filled, but I just thought that was the concept for this handmade journal is just my son's art. So it's a great way to keep art for kids, even the accordion style. Here's the, actually, I have another accordion style. I just did this one last week because I was working on this product release with my um, tree stencils. And I was like, I really want a journal that kind of showcases just the trees. So the trees were the impetus for this accordion journal. And it's literally just like one page folded four times. Like it couldn't be easier. Um, and I just kept it like a watercolor theme. I had so much fun. I'm so desperate for spring to be here. So I was like, I need to do a springy journal. So those are accordions. Um, what else? This might be an accordion too. I thought I had a huge variety and now I'm like, wow, I do make a lot of accordions. <laughs> Um, but also, you know, accordions kind of flip open like a regular book. You don't even have to, um, you know, sometimes people make accordions and then like bind them on the sides. So, so 
another option. This one, again, was when I was releasing a certain collection, so I just put it in there. But it is kind of fun. Like, it, it almost tells, like, this continuous story, you know? So it is another fun way to play. Um, and then I just, I made this little paper like vellum band because it kept popping open. I just thought, oh, that's kind of fun too. Okay, so that is, I think that's it with accordions. Another um, fun project was I had, I think it was from Tim Holtz, um, had all these tag die cut pieces. And so I wanted to try using them all in a project. So again, this was like a fall um, themed one. So it was all part of another release I did, but I picked like fall colors. Um, I actually think this was also, I did a watercolor palette with um, a little creative me and this was the watercolor palette, all these colors. Um, I'll put a link to that too, because it's it's a beautiful color palette. But I just had so much fun like doing these teeny tiny little tags. You know, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it's out of focus. Um, and just putting like natural seeds on there. I, it's just another fun way to think outside of the box. Like you could make a book with just a ring binder and, and do different size pages. Like it's, there's so many possibilities to turn something into a book. Um, just really fun. Even this one, um, this one was something I did for Unwild Studio again, just using their washi stuff. But, um, and I think these tabs are theirs, these tabs, but I just turned it into a little book that I haven't finished yet. Ooh, look at that. I stapled the page. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I even recycled. I can see right now. This was something like one of my children was scribbling on my watercolor paper and I just used it because I like the scribbles. Um, and I just filled it with a few pages ready to go. So that is like a tiny journal. Super easy. You just fold it and boom stitched together. Um, this is another one that is, I don't even know where I got this. It's not exactly an accordion. I'm not really sure. Maybe I was just playing with paper. I'm not sure. But the theme is um, the ocean. Um, and I think it was from watching a class and practicing some of the um, the elements from the class and I just turned it into a book just making like pebbles and barnacles it, I think it was an Alyssa Burke class oh maybe it's called Ocean Alchemy that's why and it, coming up with waves and sunsets this actually ended up being the inspiration for my wave I have a set of wave stencils so sometimes just playing around and enjoying myself making one thing will be the impetus for like I should make that into a stencil or I should make that into a stamp yeah these waves are very similar to the wave stencils that I designed so you never know where playing with art is going to take you you know you never know if something's going to lead to another experience or another bit of inspiration. In fact, I actually have a wave. Um, this theme was waves. I didn't really put too much work into making it look super refined. I mean, the back is completely unfinished. But I was like, oh, let me make a whole book of waves. Um, so these are, again, like all my wave stencils. But then inside, this theme was ocean, and I have mermaids. So I had taken my, I have these paper doll stencils, and then I combined it with the wave stencils, and I made mermaids. Um, and it only recently occurred to me that this mermaid that I'd been making was like a horseshoe mermaid. 
I, I wasn't really thinking like, oh, her big tail is missing. I just love the way that looked. And then I, I did make a stencil that you combined with a whale tail. And I was like, oh, isn't that funny? I've been making like these horse, like um, seahorse, not horseshoe, seahorse mermaids all these years. And I could have made it like that, but now you can do both. And I put it all in here just as like a really pretty ocean themed book. So again, I'm real big on picking themes. It just makes life easy if you're doing a small book project. If you pick a theme, then you don't have to think like, well, what am I gonna center it around? Pick something you like, and then you can build a book around it. And again, this is another one of those books that is just a cover, it opens up and boom, you've got a, an image in there. Um, this was a book, again, from a fodder school teacher. This last year, Ricky Tiki Tavi, again, Ricky Midbrand. Um, and she's the one who um, sells these. So this was our project. And I basically, I don't know if I followed along too carefully with her lessons. I just kind of made it very much like a scrappy journal and then I just filled it. I did fill it with some of the stuff that we made in class, but I just started really having fun, like putting whatever on the pages and finding scraps around the studio and um, just kind of adding all that to the pages. Sometimes I have so many little pieces, but I don't know what to do with them. So I'll make a book and then I often find I can fit like stuff that I've been making over the years in the books. So it's kind of another great way to use stuff up by putting it in a book and then it's all together. So it looks like I didn't quite finish it. Um, but I need to come back to it and finish it. But anyway, real, real fun and super small, again, super easy structures that I'm sharing with you, um, real fun. This was a book that I've been making for several years. Um, it's just like a little tag book with more um, tags inside. Just another fun way. Books with pockets, that's another, a pocket book. Um, another way to have fun. You know, you could fill the insides with writing. Super, super fun. I think this was the fodder challenge last year. Or no, this year. This year's fodder challenge for fodder school. Um, it was really fun. So, um, I think that's it. And then I just have this one that I just made the other day again. Just to put my new stuff in. And again, this one was kind of like a, like a fantasy animal theme. Um, and spring, definitely spring. So I put a lot of spring kind of imagery in here. Here's the waves. See, and then these wave stencils were the impetus for me putting waves on this little guy. So again, it's like, everything leads to other things so super super fun but again just picking a theme and colors um it doesn't have to be elaborate and you know again there's just so many ways to make simple structures um big or small or teeny tiny but tags there's so much stuff that we have lying around um accordions, a shape book. There, there's just so many ways to make mini books. So I hope I gave you some ideas. Um, and again, if you subscribe to my newsletter list, I'm going to try and resend this class link out in my next newsletter for people who missed it. Um, and again, like, you know, I have sales in there. I really only send stuff with my newsletter if I have something to um, promote either a class or a sale in my shop. I really don't do too many newsletters, so it's not like you'll get inundated. But um, yeah, 
definitely sign up because this is this is a fun little easy class to get you started and it's free so it's it's in there so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some inspiration and I can't wait to come back and bring you some more in the next video.